A fifth plan was on the table of the scientists in the California conference, to take carbon dioxide out of the air. Not this time by altering the ocean, but by mimicking the action of one of the greatest carbon capturers on Earth, trees. New York City, financial capital of the world and home to over 8 million people. Like many coastal cities, it's under threat from rising sea levels. Geophysicist Klaus Lackner is working on an idea that many believe is the front runner in cutting greenhouse gases. He wants to take carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere and store it deep underground. In order to stop climate change, we need to collect the carbon dioxide back from the atmosphere. We believe we can do that, and once the carbon dioxide is collected, it can be put away safely and permanently for thousands and thousands of years. So has Klaus Lackner found a way of accommodating our excessive burning of fossil fuels so we can, for the time being at least, continue living our energy-rich lives? Today is a cold day, it has snowed, people will need heat, in the summer they will need air conditioning. Uh, energy is just critical and it's very difficult to take the largest energy source out of the system and at the same time provide much more energy for more people who want to get to a decent standard of living. Klaus Lackner has designed an amazing machine, a synthetic tree, which will remove CO2 directly from the air all around us, giving the world some breathing space whilst alternative carbon neutral energy sources could be developed. Because there's this analogy to leaves on a tree who also pull CO2 out of the air as the CO2 flows over it, we call them synthetic trees. Just like a real tree, a synthetic artificial tree would have a structure to hold it up. It would have the equivalent to a trunk, probably a pillar, and above where there is wind, you would then find the equivalent to branches which hold up the leaves over which the air flows to collect the carbon dioxide. Now, unlike in a real tree, uh, these leaves could be packed much more tightly. And the reason for that is that these leaves have to see the sunshine and have to be exposed to it because that's what you need for photosynthesis. Since we do not do anything like that in an artificial tree, we can pack them in much more tightly and that is one of the reasons why an artificial tree can collect much more CO2 out of the air than a natural real tree.